Hi all, I've been getting a few questions and thought I'd do a, just a quick video. Um, with regards to emulating, there's some games that when you're doing them here on the, on the game mode, they don't run properly or the controls don't work properly. And what I highly recommend is boot up emulation station as a game, right? And you can, uh, the, whatever control configuration you've already done with each emulator is still intact so you don't need to change anything here All right so once you go inside emulation station through gaming mode it'll look exactly like when it's on your desktop and in here uh, you won't have any problems generating or running the games like you would if you were doing it from regular game mode in addition if something freezes, you have the option of hitting the Steam button and getting out of that, right? Which you don't have when you're in desktop mode. So there's a few advantages to doing it this way. Also, especially for the PlayStation 1, uh, you'll notice that in the when you go back into your home here, And you go to the PS1 games, there will be some games that it does not show the, it does not show the, uh, the correct pictures, right? So, um, you can actually see them all better in the, uh, emulation station. So I'll give you an example here. So this is again, just regular PS1 in the gaming mode and look these uh it's not registering the name of those so you don't know what they are they're actually the e-boots sorry not the e-boots when you have multiple uh playstation one files like disc two and disc three so my way to fix that of course is run the ps1 games through emulation station and as you can see in emulation station there's no problem reading. So, for example, Final Fantasy Anthology that has 5 and 6, or even better, Final Fantasy Chronicles with Chrono Trigger. Here, it, you have the exact file for them. So, running it through here is uh, the better idea, and it still, has, it still keeps all the control configuration that you've done uh, over in desktop mode, and also the option where if it freezes, you can always hit here and exit game and you're going to go back to your main menu so it's just a small trick it's not really a trick but it's just a small thing that that uh, i use uh to play mainly playstation 1 games and most of my uh emulated game library so hope that helps someone and take care